So this is an HP Victus, and this computer has honestly been a nightmare. All right, so this story may not be as quick as I think it is, but we're just gonna go with it. All right, so this laptop was on sale for 550. They had a couple open box options, including a satisfactory option for 486 and some change plus tax. They also had an excellent version for just a couple bucks more. Now I ended up ordering the satisfactory one and then I just saw the excellent one and I was like, okay, well that's only a couple bucks more. Maybe they'll let me exchange it when I get to the store. So I waited, got the notification to go pick it up at the store. I then asked if they had any of the excellent open box version available. He said, go to the computer section and ask. And then if they did, I could bring it back up and exchange it. So cool. So I went back there, I asked, he searched all over the store, could not find any excellent condition ones. And I was like, okay, I guess it's meant to be. So I go back up to the desk. He saw I was a little apprehensive about returning it. I kind of wanted to see it. So he let me actually open the box and see the condition the computer was in. And unfortunately the one that he pulled out had a large gouge on it and it had a lot of residue and it was just, it was not good. I decided to go ahead and return it at that time. Now I had the app open in front of me and I was gonna go ahead and reorder it. However, I got the notification that I'm at the quantity limits and I was like, that's kind of weird. So I showed the guy and he's like, well, if it doesn't work on the app, you can always go order as a guest. So I was like, okay, no big deal. Uh, I decided to go ahead and go home and try order as a guest with a different email address. But I got the same message on the website saying that I met the quantity limits. So I'm like, interesting. <laughs> so they have some sort of block on me where I can only order one. So I decided to wait till the next day, waited till the next day. And unfortunately the message still came up. So I decided to chat with Best Buy and I said, Hey, I noticed I have a little quantity limit block, uh, not letting me order this laptop. Kind of strange. It's the next day. And they were like, well, uh, you can either order as a guest or you can contact customer service. And I was like, well, I can't order as a guest because I tried that already. Um, so then I contacted customer service. I told the story to customer service and then he's like, yeah, it's an IP block. So he sent me to account maintenance and then apparently he just took it off. And then he said, well, I'll transfer you to sales. Well, at that point I was kind of annoyed because it had taken so long on the phone and I just thought this whole thing was ridiculous. So I hung up and I was like, all right, I'll just wait and see if I can order online again. Then after a couple hours, I was then able to order it online and finally get this put in. Now, on top of that, it just said it was in packaging for a long time. So I just, I just don't think this computer was meant to be. And so here we are today when I received the computer. Now, unfortunately it did not look like this when I turned it on for the first time because it was under someone else's name. And when I tried to reset it myself through uh, the reset menu, it came up as BitLocker locked. So I had to actually bypass BitLocker to get Windows to reinstall, which was a complete nightmare because when reinstalling Windows on this computer, it had no basic drivers, including the mouse and Wi-Fi. So I did unfortunately have to connect this to Ethernet just to get it to download the drivers so I could actually use the computer. Now, that's not all. Uh, we got to this point and I now hear popping noises from the speakers, but the worst part here is that I'm actually missing RAM. If we go into Task Manager here, you can see that under the Performance tab, we only have four gigs out of eight that we were supposed to have. So as you can see here, we're missing half of our RAM. So at this point, I am quite disappointed in this whole experience with Best Buy. Uh, while yes, excellent condition should have been a good experience and it should have been pretty simple and easy. As you can see, I was not even able to order another one. And then when I do finally get the computer, it is just a complete mess. Now, I'm not even going to go into the bottom of this and check to see if the RAM is there. That's not, not my problem. I did enough by trying to just get Windows reinstalled on here. I'm just going to return it to the store, let them know what happened. I guess I will just get my money back. I did actually want to review this for you guys and actually show you this computer because it had some decent specs, but unfortunately the one I have is a lemon. And of course, this is nothing against HP, of course, minus the popping sound from the speakers, which could be a hardware issue that I'm sure they would remedy under warranty as open box is still under warranty. You just have less of a warranty because it was returned at some point in the recent past. And uh, just really a Best Buy issue. And unfortunately, just the quantity limits, contacting customer service, and then getting the laptop with these issues just was not a great experience. So hopefully, you guys don't have the same experience if you do buy open box. Um, my last experience buying a laptop from them, open box, 
was fine, but this one was not. So uh, it's just hit or miss, I guess. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this quick story. And if you guys have any questions or comments, feel free to leave those down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video.